Stories of vampires have captivated human beings for centuries. Stuck somewhere in the narrow void between the living and the dead, the fear of these unearthly beings has passed down the generations across various cultures. Whether symbolizing our fear of death or demonstrating the allure of forbidden love, vampirism has evolved to become a staple of popular culture. The story of one vampire leads here, to a tomb in Richmond's Hollywood Cemetery, where an ancient evil still supposedly lurks. On October 2, 1925, workmen were performing maintenance on the Churchill Railroad Tunnel in downtown Richmond. Suddenly, the ceiling gave way, and a torrent of earth began to fill the tunnel. While workmen, smoke, and debris poured forth from the tunnel, a creature emerged from the blackness. Skin hung from its decomposing corpse, and its jagged teeth shone brightly. Alarmed, the mysterious creature fled from the scene toward the James River. A group of men pursued the creature into Hollywood Cemetery, where it vanished into the Poole family tomb, supposedly still the lair of Richmond's very own vampire to this day. This vivid account, whose embellishments vary from one retelling to the next, is well known among Richmonders young and old, but it may never have happened at all. The historical record is curiously devoid of any material from the time of the tunnel collapse that mentions the vampire or its chase through the crowded city. It is difficult to believe that such a display could have taken place in broad daylight without being widely noted. The legend of the Richmond vampire is only known to have been in circulation as early as the 1950s among students at Virginia Commonwealth University. The story first appeared in print in the school's newspaper in 1976 and has since gained traction after appearing in a number of subsequent publications over the years. Elements of the legend coincide with other events that were known with certainty to have happened the day the tunnel collapsed. 28-year-old fireman Benjamin Mosby emerged from the tunnel horribly disfigured after the cave-in caused the boiler of the work train's locomotive to explode. Mosby's teeth were shattered and bloody fragments of skin hung from his body. He later died from his injuries at Grace Hospital and is buried in Hollywood Cemetery, not far from the Poole family tomb. Perhaps the grave of the maimed fireman here is a coincidence. Or perhaps it is the distant origin of the assertion that the Richmond vampire resides in Hollywood. Some who repeat the legend today connect the tragedy of the tunnel's collapse to the vampire itself insisting that the maintenance work in the tunnel awakened a long dormant evil. The tunnel, however, had been prone to cave-ins since it was constructed in the 1870s due to the soft clay soil of Church Hill. In fact, the three-mile-long viaduct running through the heart of downtown Richmond today was only constructed in 1901 as an alternative to bypass the unlucky tunnel. The tunnel sat disused for more than 20 years until the autumn of 1925 when the Chesapeake and Ohio Railroad decided to press it back into service to ease congestion on the viaduct, a decision that ultimately took the lives of a dozen men. Rescue efforts to retrieve the work train and the remains of two workmen were ultimately unsuccessful due to further collapse. The Churchill Tunnel was sealed with locomotive number 231, 10 flatbed cars, and the remains of at least two workmen, if not more, still inside, where they remain today. What about the tomb in Hollywood Cemetery? William Wortham Poole, his wife, and at least one of his children were interred here. Poole was a well-respected accountant and member of the community who was active in the Methodist Church. Depending on what version of the story one hears, Poole himself is supposedly the vampire, all the coffins from the tomb, including pools, were eventually moved after repeated instances of vandalism inspired by the legend. Followers of the occult have been rumored to hold vigil outside the tomb on moonless nights, when it is said the vampire awakens from its slumber. What are we to make of the story, then? 
The Richmond Vampire is a textbook example of an urban legend, having been crafted through the decades from real events through hearsay, fear, and intrigue, one retelling at a time. The possibility that an otherworldly creature could present itself in a crowded city without being noted in a newspaper or other contemporary record is absurd. And like many urban legends, the origin and development of this one can be traced with some degree of reliability. Despite the gravity of reason, there is still the rare witness who insists that they themselves have seen the Richmond Vampire. <laughs>